Today the offensive begins, and with a change of offensive comes a change of tactics. I have sort of looked into what uh, actual MiG-3 pilots did, and I came came upon the name of an Ish Is. I came upon the name of an S, Alexander Patrishkin, Patrishkin, I think, something like that. And uh, what he would do in the MiG-3, it was designed as high altitude interceptor, so he would spot enemy formations from very high altitudes and make fast attacks where they were weakest and then get out before they knew what was happening. I will try to do this as well, but on to the briefing, Colonel Chernoff was not pleased that we missed those 109s. He had little to report upstairs. Fortunately, he didn't have the time to scold us. The staff phone was ringing off the hook. The offensive had begun, and our division was constantly receiving updated orders. At dawn, things began to look gloomier. As low clouds gathered over the area, it soon began to snow. It didn't look like we'd be able to lend the offensive any support. Still, the 20th Army was adamant. The morale of the troops wasn't high, and advancing in these conditions would be difficult. HQ demanded planes over the infantry, and was threatening court martial. Zhanov requested a written order to be for forwarded to him, then called two dive, dive bomber pilots into his office. The orders were simple. Take off, buzz the advancing infantry a few times, then head the right back home. A pair of PE-2s slowly sped down the runway and disappeared into the white. We never saw them again. Oops. The weather began to improve after midnight. And by dawn, the planning was already completed for the early morning support sorties, advance was proceeding, blah, 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 significant concentration of troops, blah, 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 two infantry divisions, blah, 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 Cavalry division? Oh, my. We are scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point, but uh, IL-2s will be attacking German artillery batteries along the second line of defense, the guns threaten our infantry and armor, blah, 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 blah. So we will be protecting the IL-2s. I have three MiGs under my command. And as per usual, we are carrying these 12.7mm gun pods. And I have set the range to short, because we will be attacking at close range. So, that is about it. Take off at 7.30, heading west. Stay close to the IL-2s at all times. Do not get involved in dogfights. No promises, but uh, I might actually abide by that. MiG-3 did not perform very well in dogfights, as we've seen. It was uh, eventually, towards the later end of the war, they used them for high altitude reconnaissance, things like that. Once they began to have more Lavoshkins and Yakovlev aircraft entering service. As you'll see behind the loading screen, an LA-5, I believe. Which competed favorably with the FW-190. But here we go. Starting up. And propeller pitch is full, mixture is full of rich. I could probably close the radiator to let the engine warm up. And tailwheel is locked, canopy closed, gobble gobble gobble. Things are looking good, let's go. Maintain straight line along the runway. Fighters, 4 o'clock! What do you mean, fighters, 4 o'clock? Do you mean here? Well, let's get into the air and get plenty of altitude, in case that is the case. Should've set flaps for takeoff. Oops. Retract flaps to combat, gear up. Now, where are these alleged fighters? Let's have a look around. Four o'clock? I feel like that report was uh, coming from elsewhere, but... Uh, no matter. We are going to circle over the field, let everyone take off. Requesting immediate assistance. So, flight route. Oh, BF 109s. Fascist fighters. Can't believe I didn't see them. Okay. We are in a fight now. No, not going to be able to angle high enough to get a shot at them. Hmm. By some miracle, they may not have seen us, so I will linger behind them and try to gain altitude. They have a pretty significant blind spot behind them and underneath. So let's see what we can do. We will order the squadron to attack fighters at any opportunity which may arise. Engine is warming up nicely, so we will open the radiator by half. It is very cold, uh, which is good. We get more performance out of the engine that way. Because I'm running at full power, it's still heating up, so we'll open the radiator fully. We're not going to catch them. Flaps up. Only 290 kilometers an hour. There, now we might be starting to close the gap. 
got all kinds of migs and yaks taking off behind us. This will be very good. I should make sure there is there are no fascists around. And I shouldn't look outside to do that. That's kind of cheaty. Do you, cheaty! Kind of uh, cheaty, breaky. But let us see if we can climb to be more or less level with these fascists. It may serve as well. If I close the radiator to half, and keep an eye on the engine temperature. You can see it sort of in the bottom right. Uh, at least I think I see <laughs> engine temperature. I've been gauging it by that. Uh, let's see. It's probably in the Russian, isn't it? Yeah. Temperature. You can still discern what that word is. Yes. Yes, they appear to be accelerating away, but they are more or less on our flight route anyway, so no reason not to pursue them. The, uh, the clever among you might have noticed I had to play through this from the beginning again because I reinstalled IL-2 without thinking. So the realism settings have changed a little bit. Um, there are no longer... it's only just me iconed on the map now. Uh, I should have had it that way before, but I didn't. So, uh, that is good. I tried to make sure that these statistics were roughly the same, but, uh, no promises as to exact figures. Oh! Oh! Okay, I think we're being lured into an ambush here. I'm going to run. And see if I can rejoin the formation before they get here. So, I will circle back. And let these guys go first. Yes. Uh, attack fighters. Attacking bandits now. Slap set for combat. Something tells me we're getting shot down today again. Oh well. I've been a bit devil may care so far, so why stop now? Oh, he got pretty close, but... Uh, no cause for concern just yet. I'm gonna go for the last guy in this line. See what we can do. And yes, you know you want it. I don't know if he's even seen us. He doesn't appear to be taking any action to try and avoid us. That or his friend is sneaking up behind us, so let us get in close and take the shot. Very soon. Holy crap! Okay, I cheated again, but it saved me, so... Yes. Okay, I'm going into the mode where I am just trying to survive now. Flaps up. Fire! And pull over the top and back into a dive. Uh oh, someone's going down. It's one of our MiGs. We are pretty severely outnumbered here, I think. Hello! Okay. Let's pick a target and try and pursue it. Where did he go? Hey, he looks pretty open to attack. Anyone behind us? One BF on the nine, two kilometers away. Oh, there must be one closer. Getting tracers now. Okay. Let's get low enough that he can't hit us. <laughs> He yanked the power. He's going a lot faster. Let's see if we can get him to overshoot. Oh, let's peel back around and get him. Ah! Well, buggery. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, no comment. <laughs> There's that elephant gun in those BF 109s. One round. I was the thoughts that were going through my head. Okay, we're on fire. I was gonna see if I could get us going fast enough that I could dive and extinguish it and then come back and land. But uh, then it exploded, so that was not going to be an option so much. And this time I'm going to circle around the field and try to get more altitude before the fascists get here. It would seem most prudent to do so. Uh, okay. Actually, let's keep the angle of bank to a minimum, otherwise we won't climb so much. Although, who am I kidding? Here they are. Oh well, we'll have time for a few of our comrades to get into the air. 
זה נובעד, טק פייטרס. ליגס אר טקינג אוף. did not mean to fire the guns there. Wasting precious ammunition. This does not carry that much. That we will be needing in the air. Hmm, the fascists are going... Okay, so... They baited us into an ambush. This time, we are going to be ready. Not going to fall for it like a ton of... Bricks. A ton of frozen... Something. Never mind. Uh, what do you freeze? During the Winter War, the Finns were uh, sawing off uh, logs of frozen sauerkraut, but uh, that is none of our business at this time. So let us climb and exploit the advantage of the MiG-3 in its ability to gain much altitude. Not sure what the best climb speed is. This seems to be doing well. So... Do we have a vertical speed? We do, but it's behind the shtick, and it's off the end, so... We are climbing with the utmost of efficiency right now. Which is good. To plenty of time for our comrades to get into the air. I don't know, if I were in command of the whole group, the moment I saw the all the other bf 109s I probably would have ordered the Starbucks to return to base. Or immediately fly in the opposite direction and get out of the area, take an alternate route to their target, whatever they please. Radiator. I'll close it for now. See what it does. I need more altitude. Because this thing can climb pretty good. I need to get well above the fascists. In fact, if my group is not presently in formation, they need to be. Because they need to climb up here and find out how wonderful it is. Alright, I guess if we encounter fascists, I will come back. And there they are, and they are still above us, which is not good. But it is only one we might be able to manage. There's only one as high as us. Quite possibly the group commander. So, we must be cautious to the utmost. Yeah, he's still going to get away. Radiator is closed, flaps up. Drop pitch at full. Mixture. Oh, lean mixture. Where is my RPM? Oh, there it is. There's the drop. There is optimal mixture. Ah, we will catch this fascist. Anybody clear my tail? Where is that? He doesn't seem to be much of a threat, so we'll just keep an eye on him and go after these two jokers down here. I'm coming for you. And you don't even know it. Question is, will we be able to hit them at this speed? Bring the throttle right back. They're going pretty fast, so... We might be able to get a good shot at them. Wait until we are very close. And let him have it! And he's hit! Let's get out of here! And there's fascists behind us. Let us split us. Ah! We got him! That is very good. Alright, where is he gone now? We might be able to outturn, which surprises me a lot, but we need combat flaps to manage it. Not sure what he is playing at here. But we don't want to get into a turning fight with Germans, so... Let's see, mixture back up to almost full ridge, because we are much lower now. Let's just get some distance and climb again. Uh, mixture. Lean, 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 lean. There about is maximum RPM for this altitude. And more fish is coming. Ev where is everyone? 
I don't want to get ambushed. I'm tempted to just call the group to rejoin and return to base. At least then the machines would live to fight another day. Where are you? Oh, over there. He's trying to make a pass at us now. But you will not succeed. Uh oh, he's gonna pull up and fire now. Get it. Split S. Flaps the combat. Let's see if we can lose him. Flaps up. Drop right to the tree line. Okay. But don't hit the tree line. We do not need to do that today. Woo. And we lost the fascist. We're going to be able to outrun him. Which is strange. I'm surprised he can't outperform us when we're this low. But uh, I'm not going to question it. I'm going to call Sven 1. And rejoin. And return to base. If they follow us, then we'll put up a fight there. But uh, not sure where the storm of X went. Hopefully they were able to proceed to their target while we kept the fascist occupied. You know what, there is only one of these 109s, and I'm going to regret it. I'm going to regret this, but I'm going after him. Alright. What have you got, Mr. Fascist? Uh, let's see if we can spook him at least. Oh, no, there's another one. The other one's getting behind us now, but I'm not worried yet, except I should be. Uh, he's not even turned around yet. How's that yak gonna fare? Okay. Need more speed. And I ordered the unit to return to base, I should make sure they get there. So... We head towards that uh, blinding sun coming up over the horizon. With the utmost of haste. What is the radiator doing? Let's open it a little bit. Keep the engine from overheating. And lean out. There it is. Optimal RPM. In fact, let's have it a little richer than that. There we go. Make sure there are no fascists pursuing us. Not really. I think they've disengaged as well. So that is good. I will come back when we return to base. And here we are. Home sweet home. We'll just fly over the field, make sure it's clear, and join downwind. Okay. So power back. Mixture rich. Radiator. Let's leave it open. Cool down the engine and turn. And the trouble with these snowy runways, they are very hard to find. Which is uh, not always so good, but uh, ground control for landing. Gear is coming down. And the wheel is locked. Makes sense, we locked it before takeoff, not sure what will happen now. And the radiator, close to 50%. In case we have to really gun it to get out of here, flaps to landing. And let's see if I can actually land this decently this time. It is a slightly tricky machine to land, the canopy is very far back. It is hard to judge the flare, especially when the ground all looks the same. Not a lot of depth perception. That shadow down to the right is helpful in that regard. And flare, 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 and chop the power. And we're down. And brakes. 
Alright. Today is not Brad Creed victory, but uh, we are alive. And I think this Dormavix managed to escape, I'm not sure. Alright, oops. Ah! Oh no, 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 no! Yes, yes, like a real professional. Get busy gabbing it into the microphone and stomp on the brake and break the propeller. Ugh! Cardinal Sharnov will not be happy. He doesn't need to know. Alright, there it is. Five, an ace once again. We managed to shoot down at 1BF109. So, the day was not entirely fruitless. And uh, we are doing well. So, next mission is over to the battlefield. It looks like we're hitting a target of some kind, attacking vehicles. But that will be next time. Until then, uh, toodaloo.